Where are you coming from? I went to church. You went to church? Yes. I did not think it was proper for you to tell me that you were going out and what? You left me with these kids. Right? Who will take care of them? Huh? Now I'm asking you, you, know, you left me with these kids. Huh? For who to take care of me? For me to take care of them? I didn't stay long. I, it was just 30 minutes prayers. Oh, you didn't stay long. So now you're justifying your leaving me in this house with these kids. Right? Did you know? I had to lie to my boss that my kids were ill and, and that I took them to the hospital. That was the reason I didn't show up at the office. Take a good look at yourself. Look at what Mike has turned you into. I told you not to marry him, but you wouldn't listen. Look, sis, when a man hits you once, he will definitely hit you again. What do I do? Marriage is for better or worse. There is no better or worse here. As a matter of fact, you have to quit this marriage. Quit? Yes, quit. And do what? This is a prison and not marriage. I cannot stand seeing you like this. Mike is a beast, sister. He is definitely going to hit you again. What do I do? You're going to quit. Anyway, when last did you hear from Mama? Yesterday. Rose, I need to go back home. My children are hungry. My husband will be hungry by now. It's almost late. No. Yes. She said, you're not just going to go back like that. <laughs> because I... he picked up his phone and called you and said he's sorry. Sister, he is going to hit you again. Rose, when you get married, you will understand. Sister, whatever charm this man used on you is very strong, go. Oh. It is very strong. I never liked Mike right from the very first day. And I have never hid it from Telma. I keep wondering what is her drive towards Mike. At times, I feel she is bewitched. What makes you think so? For God's sake, Telma and I have been friends for many years. I knew my friend back in school. She was the type that can't take rubbish from men. She used to be a strong woman, a feminist, who cannot stand the sight of a man hitting a woman. But all that changed the very first day she set her eyes on Mike. Her strength fell. The remains is what you are seeing. My sister used to be a very strong woman. But I don't know what is happening to her now. Nancy, she needs your help. I have told Thelma to quit that marriage. If she continues in that marriage, Mike may beat her to death one day. Exactly, my point. Exactly. Nancy, please. She is your best friend. I want you to help me talk some senses into her. Please. I'm doing my best. I just hope she will listen to me before it's too late. I hope so too. I said I'm messed up big time. Hi. You know, the bad thing about this whole thing is that this idiot here 
<laughs> begin to get unnecessarily excited. But really, what was Asen Wenka thinking? How can you pull out Juru and then bring him, bring him back to Saka? For what? <laughs> what? You're not thinking that we should play? Okay, now, okay, these guys don't play defense and they still score two goals. What the heck? Well, as for me, guys, it's all about Chelsea for life. Are you forgetting that we have the likes of Hazard, Fabregas, Oscar, William, go get us! How many legs did they play? But with me, it's all about Chelsea for life! Don't get too excited. Remember, we're still top in the league. Mario you for life. <laughs> Well, have fun now. Let's wrap up. Let's let's go. Uh -uh. Mike, this is when you're rushing home. But please, uh, ensure when you get home, you don't vent your anger on oh, madam. You know, your team messed up big time tonight. Why are you soliciting for my wife? Oh, is well, it your wife? It's actually right. Right. No, no, your wife. Well, uh, right, what? No, look, I'm not in a very good mood. Forget that I'm smiling right now. I get home and that woman just starts with her drama. I will just carry this ass now and tell him that. Put down for her head. No, you don't. You don't, you don't, you don't. Why are you guys trying to be nice? No, just take it easy on her. Well, do you, do you guys know the kind of drama she brings? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. She's a woman. She's a woman. She's just a woman. Now you have money. Because that's the game anyway. I think. I hope my wife will visit enough of you. I don't understand why you people are looking at me. Like I said, one hour. Chelsea from Lyme. I'm going to shop up my bed. No, no, no. I love my team, man. Welcome. Why are you still awake? I was waiting for you so I can lock the door. You were waiting for me? Lock the door. What are you doing? Please, 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 Mike, I'm not feeling fine. I'm not feeling fine. I'm having fever. You know that I'm not well. Please give me a moment. Um, it's good. I'm calm, gentle. Okay. Mike, you're not listening to me. I'm calm, oh. gentle. I will not just I have a headache. Force. I have a headache. I don't feel like doing anything. Look, I will be gentle. I won't enter by force. Like, right? when you want me to enter, just tell me. Enter. I'm Mike, I'm not interested. Please, stop I'm it. I'm really interested. Stop it. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? I'm not feeling fine. You're not listening to me. Look at my face. I'm not interested. It's not on your face or doing it. Man, stop look. it. I don't want to do it. Okay, calm down, look. Let me tell you something. Oh my this god. Is, just... it has been, look, Kelma, look, let me tell you something. Leave it has me been alone. a very busy week for me and my tank is full. You have to help me out here. What is wrong with you? Can I be begging you to make love to my wife? I don't want position. it. I'm not. Leave me alone. Please stop it. Man, you're not listening to me. Or... I know you don't want us to do this. Now. You're not listening to me. Or... No, I am very sure. Leave me alone, Mike. Ow, Mike. What are you? What are you doing? What, 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 what are you? Leave me alone. Leave it. What is wrong with you, Mike? I'm going to rape you. Rape you. Rape you. Well, who told you that a husband can rape the wife? I'm not raping you, I'm going to take you. That's what I'm going to do. 
or a pin bright price on your head. You're my property. You belong to come on, open my phone. Oh, Mike, I'm going to scream. Oh, I'm going to scream. Oh, Mike, you really open. Mike, I'm going to scream. 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 Mike, well, I went to pick up some groceries and I decided to stop by to see how my girlfriend is doing. So what did you bring for me? <laughs> Look at this one. I should be the one to ask you to offer me something. You want me to offer you in my office? My dear, this is not... What happened? Look at your face. Nothing happened. Stop looking at me like that. I fell from a bike. When did you start moving on bikes? What happened to your car? <laughs> I know that man taught you, right? Look, girlfriend, you have to leave that marriage. For Christ's sake, this is getting too much. How can you ask me to leave my marriage? My kids. What happens to my kids? What happens to my marital vows? I mean, people say that it's not easy. Or it's not the rate at which this man beats you. I am scared. One of these days, something drastic might happen to you. You have to make up your mind. Make this man no go kill you. Me, I don't talk my own. Uh -huh. oh. No, I have this deep gut that there's something wrong with Thelma and the kids. Please, I would like you to go over there one more time. Ah, oh, baby, I know. I know what you want to say. I know. I know. Okay, mom. But you know how my kids. I know. I know. But we are family. We are family. If anything goes wrong with Mike, or with Tama, or the kids, we are also affected. You're right, now. Let's do this for us, okay? Okay, mom. Thank you, I'll baby. Try. Thank you so much. Okay, mom. How has your day been? Fine, I've been reading all day, mom. I thought you wanted to go work on this. Mm. Is it okay now? Mm, it's okay now. All right. Nancy. Do you think this is going to yield any result? Of course. Every child listens to his mother. I will talk to Mike's mom. Maybe she can speak some sense into her son's head. Oh. So you think the mother is not aware of what the son is doing to my sister? She may not know in details. Whatever. Right now, no stone is worth leaving unturned. Please, Nancy. I beg you. Do whatever you think is right to get my sister out of this pain she has caused herself. Please. Well, let's just hope it works. <sighs> Yes, right. Let's hope so. I'm so sorry for keeping you with Yes. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, how is everybody? How is Mama? She's fine. She sends her regards. Oh, okay, nice. You have bruises all over your face. Bruises. Yes. Are you sure? Are you sure you are seen properly? Yeah. Oh. oh. I had an um, Okada accident. I fell from my bike. But but it's healing. It's already healing. It's not that serious. Sorry. Um, I made a um, gizzard. Would you like to have some? Yeah. I love it. Let me get you. Let me get you and something to drink. What would you like to drink? Anything, anything soft. With a welcome. Come on. 
सामने ले Thelma, what was the daughter of that witch doing in my house? Why would you address your mother as a witch? Thelma, when I ask questions, I want answers. You hear me? I do not want questions in place of answers. I made it very clear when you moved into this house and came into my life. But that woman's name would not be mentioned in this house. That is the first rule. I will not talk about your mother in this house. But please don't refer to her as a witch. She's a witch. You hear me? She's a witch. I know her. You don't know her. You don't know my story. That woman killed my father. Please. It will not happen again. What's the plan for dinner? Oh, it has been. I am short of words. I can't imagine what I'm hearing. Can a son actually treat his mother like that? Oh, yes. That's exactly what I have been going through. Whatever it is, though, I still thank God for everything. But let's forget about Michael. Let's talk about Thelma. How is she doing? She's okay, Ma. But Ma, I'm sorry to say this. Yes. I never supported my friend's marriage to your son. Oh, Nancy. And I am still uncomfortable about it. The way things are going, Thelma continues stay in that house is suicidal. Your son may kill her someday. God forbid. That cannot happen. Nancy, please, I beg you in the name of God, ensure that Thelma comes here to see me. I know you will be able to persuade Talma to come and see me. There's something I need to share with her. I need to tell her something, please. Please, please sit down. Bisola! 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 Please come! So how has it been with you? Fine, ma. Thank you so much for coming around. Thank you, ma. Bisola! Please, take her order. Good day, ma. Hi, how are you doing? I'm fine. Please, what do you offer you? We have red wine, white wine and soda. Hmm. Red wine will be fine. Okay. Well, wow. You know, you have a beautiful home here. <laughs> thank you. Are you beautiful? I love Ooh, your necklace. Yes, thank you. I want to look like you. Oh, thank you, ma. Thank you. Michael! <laughs> Dave! Michael! What's going on? You should, uh, you should be at work. You check your time, it's past 4. Oh, well, yeah, it's past 4, but it's not 5 p.m. yet, so why are you here? Remember, I told you some of our foreign partners came to the country yesterday? You remember, I told yeah, you? Yeah, 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 you mentioned it. Um, how, how is it going with them? Beautiful! <laughs> it was excellent. Okay. You know, since morning we'll be in a closed door meeting with them. Okay. The deal was sealed. 
My boss was so impressed. He had to relieve us of our duties for the day. Are you serious? I'm serious now. Come on. See, what are you doing? You're still cracking your head over work? Well, what can I do? I'm trying to survive. I'm still neck deep in work here, but uh, I should be done in the next few minutes. Let's just go to the bar. Uh, okay, but, but uh, have you called Richard? No, no, no. We'll call him on our way. At least I have something to celebrate. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Of course you have something to celebrate. All right, let me just um, round off here and we can judge up. By the way, how is madam? <laughs> Let's go. Ah, with Madame. Have you ah, guys, no you now. <laughs> no, women and their problems, please. I don't want to uh, okay, stop my head with that. Done here. Michael. Like I said, if the splitting from your husband continues, please come back home with the children. This house is big enough. Come back. I don't want him to kill you. Mommy, where is all this coming from? You've always supported me. You've always shown me strength. You've always shown me love. Why are you suddenly changing your heart? A sudden change? Look at you. Just look at you. You are a shadow of yourself. No sane mother would sit aside and watch her own daughter die slowly in the name of marriage. Sister, don't kill yourself. Don't kill yourself. I have told you to seek for a divorce. Yes. You still look very young and beautiful. Sister, there are a thousand men out there that would die just to date and marry you. And they will take very good care of you. <laughs> it's not this what Mike is doing. Mike will hit you again. I told you when he slapped you during their courtship that a man that hits a woman once will do it again and again. And again, mommy, and again. Tell her. How do you fulfill making my marriage a subject matter? Mommy, nothing will happen. Can I go? Hey, I said it. I said it, but nobody would listen to me. Mike has bewitched my sister. I said it for me. Have you seen? She's going back to me. To go and To go and see what? To lose my best child. Ah! I don't want to stand here She has come back to you. You better go and get a chain and chain her if you need to. Oh, God, help. sense of organization. Now tell me, why would you move my stuff? I put that shirt on the bed because I knew that I would want to go there, find the one I want to find, it, pick it up and wear it, and you decided to move it. Huh? So, while I was a bachelor, I, I couldn't get myself together. So now, because I'm married to you, you want to try to rearrange my life. Is that what you're trying to say? No, I, what? No, I'm talking to come and stand there. You know what? Yeah, I'm 
keep your hair out of your head. Stand here. Why did you move my stuff? something in my house and then you move it. You hear me? I was living my life before you came into it. Alright? What rubbish? Put your hands up. Separate them. Let me see them. You stay in this position until I feel like Need to get up. If I come back to this spot and you're not here, you better be lying in a coffin, Thelma. You hear me? You better be lying in a coffin. Raise yeah. your hands. Raise your hands. Idiot. No, no, what has been happening to your sister-in-law? Mom, I think she's pretending to be happy. <laughs> oh, what do you mean by that? She has bruises all over her body. I, I think brother has been beating her up. When I asked her, she said she fell from a bike. Can you imagine Auntie Thelma climbing a bike with all the money they have? For goodness sake, I have told Nancy to bring Thelma to me. Unless she brings her here, I cannot help her. She needs to come here. Yeah, you're right. Man. That's where her help is. I mean, what's what all this? I don't believe you. I don't know. I don't know. I can't tell. It's, it's, oh, Mike, Mike doesn't seem to have, you know, feelings anymore. All that he cares about is his own happiness. He doesn't care anymore. Tell me! What's the meaning of this? What's the meaning of this? Listen to me and listen very carefully. Mrs. Thelma Ackman, or whatever you call yourself, if you are tired of this job, please kindly let us know so that we can relieve you of your duties. Do you understand what I'm saying? You make mistakes every blessed day in your documentation. What is wrong with you? I'm sorry, sir. That's what you keep saying every blessed day. If you come to work every day, it's either you are sick Bruises all over you, lack of concentration. What is wrong with you, Talma? I am sorry, sir. It will not happen again. That is what I keep hearing every blessed day. Sorry for yourself. Time. Yeah, I know I've been very busy. Okay. <sighs> Mom sent me to know if you've spoken to tell over what she discussed with you. Oh yes, you know what? Come in, come and sit down. Okay, thank you. Yes, I spoke with Thelma. But she told me her husband has warned her against coming in contact with your mom. Mike, believe your mom is a witch. Mike, that's very funny. If mom is a witch, why has mom not destroyed or killed Mike? Mike needs deliverance. I personally think Mike is a wizard. That you're right because it is only a man who is out of his senses that engages in wife battery right you know i believe telma will come and see your mom but she needs time in order not to trigger her husband's wrath okay Pretty <sighs> I 
was actually cooking in the kitchen. Yeah. I'll get you something to drink. Oh, that would drink. be nice. Okay, so you Thank just relax, you. Okay. okay. Mike, I told you that the gas has finished. You know that my car is bad. I would have driven out, and I don't even have money with me. Give me money. This kid's are hungry. Uh, uh, that man is good, Captain. I heard you the first time, all right? But as you can see, I am watching a football match. Done. I'll deal with that situation. Please, allow. I know that you're watching. Just give me the box. Tell me where it is. Let me go and get it myself. My friend, move, please. Move, move, move the ball to, 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 to the floor. What are you tapping? Tapping the ball in your house. I am making right. Will you not stop out? Get off my face! Idiot! Look, let me tell you something. Next time I'm watching a football match, you bring your stupid arm in here, I'll break your head. What's even wrong with you? Ah? Now I don't even know what I'm dealing with. If it is Asen Wenka's bad luck, all your bad luck. Do you see what it costs? Well back, with Ozil charging down the middle. This is what it costs. Hey! Out! Get out! 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 Get out! 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 Get out! Get out! Very foolish team! I don't even know what the, the board is still doing with Arsene Wenger. Change the bloody coach and let the club move forward. No! We've gone through this uh, every season. Now we can't even make top four. We are not going to make top four this season. Bloody Arsenal team! The gas finish, what, what do I do? I stop myself to glass and the gas and become flammable. I only came here to talk to you as a brother and to advise you against beating your wife at will. Nancy, I have a question for you. I'm all ears. Why are you not married? How has that got to do with this? Oh, it has everything to do with this. You hear me? It has everything to do with this. What do you know about marriage? How could a single and irresponsible girl like you stroll into my office, broad daylight, to come educate me how to run my home? Are you mad? Mike, you are insulting me. I will insult you more if you do not pick your very trash yourself and get out of my office right now. <laughs> office. I will leave. But if you ever Hit my friend again. I will take legal action. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Mike, you slap me? You keep slapping me. I'm gonna keep slapping you till you drop dead. You won't even have a life in you. They call your lawyers to come get me. Get out! Out! No problem. You will hear from me. <laughs> no, no, but seriously, he said I should talk to you on his behalf. How can you take his car and, and you don't want to accept him? I don't want him anymore. Let him take his rubbish and go. I'm not mm. interested. I know he messed up. A lot of these men, they mess up too much. But you're not going to say because he did something that you're not going to forgive him or you guys will not move. I will never forgive that guy. I will never. Mm.
Welcome. Yeah, welcome. I do not want to see this thing and her witchcraft of a mother in my house. Mike, she's your sister. She just came so that. Um... I know. Get out. Get out, get out! Out! I will leave your house. You will never see me in your house again. You know, shame of yourself, woman beater. So she looks like what's involved. Witchcraft of a mother in my house. That woman killed my father. I've told you before. You keep pushing me. This is my house, not your house. My rules, my laws apply, not yours. And why do you go about town telling people about our domestic issues? We're married. All right? We are married. The challenges that you and I have is ours to deal with. Not for the world to know. Your stupid friend, so she into my office today, thinking that she could insult me and poke her nose into my business, but guess what? She got what she deserved. I knocked the life out of her. Next time you make someone walk into my office to insult me, and I come back home and find you in this house, I will put you in a coffin. I built my home with all of my heart Now everything is falling apart I'm wondering where I've Mother. gone around Did you raise your hand on him before he slapped you? No. I did not touch him. Are you sure you did not raise your hand on him? I'm sure. Tell me, do you think he was provoked by what you said? Or did you at any point raise your voice while talking to him? I did not raise my voice. I spoke to him as my brother. Your husband slapped me. God, let me see. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. You don't have to be sorry. You are not the one that slapped me. My dear. 
And you are not the one that called me all unprintable names. He did. And I am praising charges. Auntie. I beg you, please. Please. For my sake and that of our kids. You will not do this. Come on. Please don't do this. Please. What do, you, what do you think the world will say? You are my friend. You're my sister. You're the only person that I have. They will say that my friend has turned her back against me and she has taken my husband to court. My children will think that you have made their father go to jail. Please. Thelma, someone must show my that he can do whatsoever he likes with his mother, his wife. But he can't possibly do it to every woman. I know. But Nancy, you're not that woman that wants to teach him this lesson. We're a family. Please. Please. Are you the lawyer? Oh, please, this one, she's my family. She doesn't mean it, oh. She's just angry. We're family, we'll sort it out. Huh? Please. That's a big one, please. Tell me. Your girlfriend. You have to quit this marriage. I can't stand to watch a man treat my best friend the way Mike is treating you. You have to quit. Tell my love. My kids, what happened to my children? I know. But tell my. I love you so much. And it hurts me. It hurts me. Each time I see what you are passing through, you laugh at me. Forget about what people say. They will say that I couldn't make my marriage work. <laughs> but you have to quit. I love you so much. And it's hard. It's hard for me to see how Mike is treating you. That's <laughs> How come I, I don't have eggs on, on my plate? Um, I, um, this morning when I um, went to the kitchen, I realized that it was just two eggs left. So I, I had to make it and give it to the girls. Why do we have two eggs in the house? Mm -hmm. Just two eggs, why? Um, what are you talking about? Did I not give you enough money for food in this house. Why are we running short of things? Yes, you gave me money, but the, I, I used the money to buy some other things that were more important because the money wasn't enough. Come on. Huh? I give you money and the money wasn't enough. All the money that I give to you for upkeep in this house is not enough. Are you a thief? No, that's what you're saying. No, you just told me here, yeah, right in front of my kids, that I cannot take care of my family. That, that's what you just said. What, you, you, you didn't think about it? You, 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 know what, you know what your problem is? Your brain is on freeze. It doesn't work. All right? Because if your brain wasn't frozen up, as at 5 p.m. yesterday evening, you would have thought about 7.30 a.m. this morning, and then you would have looked at what we have, and then you realize that you just have eggs. Oh, so I'm the one who doesn't deserve protein while the kids eat eggs, and I'm just, I'm just watching. Okay, fine. Let me just give you their eggs. Oh, you want, you want to give me their eggs? Yes. Can you not see that you're stupid? Dalma. No, you're a foolish woman. Look, your mother is foolish. You are a foolish woman. That's why you come back here talking to you. <laughs> Idiot. So I should, I should eat dry bread. Let's go. You're running late. Right? Don't, 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 what, 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 what food? Is this food? I'm going to take them.
them somewhere nice and, uh, 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 and give them something to eat. I need my kids to grow up. I don't want, I don't want to grow up looking, look, 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 looking like you. Nancy, Nancy, you should have thought that arrogant fool a lesson. A lesson he will never forget. Trust me now. I wanted to. But Thelma came pleading on his behalf. Oh, oh, to let him oh, go. Mm, mm, no, please. Keep Thelma out of this. That idiot needs to be dealt with. Yes. You know, I couldn't risk hurting my friend. Rosalyn, I know how you hate my <coughs> But you have to consider your sister's feelings. Look, Nancy, the only person I care about right now is my sister. But at the same time, this idiot needs to be thought a lesson of his life. Thelma is very, very heady and stubborn, yes. But I'm very sure that soon she'll realize the fool is not good for her. I hope so. Since when come the married man is not a problem? Can you imagine? This is the adjust we shall my wife. Hey, honey, yeah, honey, yeah. See, I just said to that one back up. She just flaps. <laughs> no, it, it's terrible. Uh, because uh, I don't understand what's going to happen now. When did marriage become bondage? You can't even feel free anymore. It's been a very rough week for me. You know? Can you imagine the other way? I was just I was just working in the office and one of my one of my wife's stupid friends walked in to come and tell me how to run my marriage. Imagine. No, you trust me now. Ah. I slapped the girl, she almost sat on the floor. Can you imagine the stupid girl? <laughs> I know what she now told me. Oh, that she's gonna press that she's gonna call her liar. They're gonna send me papers. As I sit down, I'm still waiting for the stupid bitch <laughs> to shop with the papers. Nothing. <laughs> and then I got back home. Then my wife made this very horrible me. And then I said, okay, the seasoning in this food is too much. And then I was talking as she was like, can you imagine that midget? I'm talking as she was talking. <laughs> I'll keep in one day. No, 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 no. No, 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 seriously, it, it's, it's, it's annoying. See, guys, if you ask me, I would say they are all the same. Like the other day, that was how my wife was complaining that uh, you go out, you come back late, da, 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 blah, 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 blah. But I had to place a dirty slab on her face. Imagine them there. Like, see, as I'm talking to you now, there's war waiting for me at home. I don't think go house this line too. Mike, is it that I'm coming with you or Richard? I swear, I can't go home. No, you're not coming to my house. For me, I'm not going home. I'm sleeping here. Bye, guys. Oh, you Let's have it. Let's have it. I already, I already took one. Salma, hmm? do you want to do this shopping alone? No. So how come everything I pick is just not good enough? Oh, we don't need this. We already have this one. What is wrong with having two of this? What, you want to drag me down here next week, Saturday, telling me that things around the house are finished? Oh, sweetheart, please, drive me down to the, to the mall. Drive me down to the mall. What, you want to bring me back here? What is wrong with, with having two? And I'm... Oh, I should calm down. You know your problem? Your problem is that you don't think. You do not think. What, you want us to get one and at the end of the day, tell me, oh, sweetheart, you have to come take me to the mall again. We ran out. We ran out. We ran out. Why would we not run out when you just buy one item? I didn't want you to waste your money. I'll take four if you want. Mrs. Goody, two shoes. You didn't want me to waste my money. Is it your money? Is the money your, is the money, your money? Eh? You don't want me to waste my money. Now I'm raising my voice. Like, I am trying to help. 
I have a busy weekend, Thelma, but you forced me to bring you here. And now I am here trying to help out. And what are you doing? Oh no, no, oh, you didn't force me. You said you wanted to show. Oh, oh really? Yeah. That, that, that's what you said, right? So I am here and you're undermining my importance by me picking things and you're telling me, oh no, you don't. Th 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 why did you bring me here? I am talking to you, my friend. Why did you bring me here? Oh, you're sorry. You're sorry? You're sorry. Come here. Stand, stand here. Stand here. You're sorry? You want to pick things, right? No, you want to pick things. Everything you pick is what we need, right? You want, you want to pick things. It's yours. I built my home with all of my heart. Now everything is falling apart. Nancy, you needed to have seen the way everybody at the supermarket was staring at me. I felt so embarrassed. To make matters worse, Mike just drove off, abandoning me at the supermarket, knowing fully well that I don't even have transport to go home. I had to go and beg the sales girl to borrow me 200 naira for transport. Can you imagine? Have you gone to see his mother? No. What are your plans concerning your marriage? It's either you are planning to have a better home by seeking help from the woman who has offered to help, or you seek for a divorce. A divorce? I mean, God forbids divorce. It's not the will of God. And God doesn't forbid wife battering. Thelma, to be honest with you, I think you should seek for a divorce. I now see why your sister, Rosalind, never supported your relationship with Mike right from day one. Remember how Mike used to beat you constantly when you guys were dating? Enough! What is it? Nancy, I came here for moral support and nothing more. I don't expect you to come and start reminding me of my problems. Go and see that woman. She has an advice for you. I suspect there is a secret to all of this. Go and see the woman. Test. You, you, you 
pregnant. News. Ah, this is good. Come on, come on, hug me. Come on. Ah. You know, you know, I'm positive. I'm positive that this one that you're carrying will be a boy. All right. Of course, it should. It should be a boy. You know what I mean? It, it has to be. It has to be a boy. I mean. You know, there is need for a male child here, so it, it has to be a boy. Come on, you know what? I, I will take care of you. All right, you're not in this alone. All right, so I'm gonna be on this journey alone. Just, that's fine. just make sure it's a boy, okay? Mama, no. when was the last time you visited your brother's wife? Some months back now, please. I need you to go see Thelma for me. Mom, I don't think I can go to that house again. No, no, please, please, baby. Just the do last this time for I me. I went there, the insult I received from Mike was too much. <laughs> he called you a witch. Sweetheart, at this point, it just doesn't matter what Mike calls me. Please, do this for me for the sake of Thelma and those kids. No, I'm doing this because of you. Oh, that's my girl. Thank you, baby. Okay, come on. Let me show you. There were times our love was perfect. There were times you cared for me. Now our lives are drifting apart. Please love me. Too. Since when did you start serving me? Every time, but this time around with this pregnancy, you look mm, you look so <laughs> beautiful. Oh my god. Girlfriend, please, please, please. You know what? Just stand up. Let me admire you. You are so beautiful. You know, it's not my first pregnancy. I know. So you just need I to know. stop being dramatic. You look how beautiful you are. Oh my god. Oh, drama queen, stop it. Seriously. <laughs> just, just stop it. I know what sex it's gonna be. It's going to be a boy, Stop it. a boy. Stop it. I'm under enough pressure from Mike about the sex of this baby. Don't add to it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm going to add mine more than Mike. So Mike can wait at home while I take care of my girlfriend today. I'm going to go in the kitchen mm -hmm. prepare you something nice. And I know your favorite. Fantastic. So what will I be doing while you are preparing? You will sit down here. Please, please, please. please. <laughs> get up my no, 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 Maybe. Mike. Hmm? The doctor said I needed to run some tests. So I went for it. That's for what? Because I'm pregnant. 
Uh -huh. You're pregnant. Uh -huh. Thanks for what? Did you fall from Okada? No, the doctor just said that I, uh, I just went for scan for the sex of the baby. Oh, okay. And so the doctor was now saying that that my immune system is weak and low. Tell me, you're pushing my buttons. What has your immune system got to do with the sex of the child? What is what? What are you carrying? He said it's a boy, but I need vitamins. Eh? No, did you say boy? I, I, yeah, I. He said he thinks he's a boy. No, he thinks or it is a boy. <laughs> Sorry, 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 sorry. Thank you, thank you. Ha, ha. This is what I've been praying for. Ha, Thelma, if you give back, I give me a male child. Eh? What I will do for you in this world, you will never. Hey. Look, can you hear me? When you come to this world, you are going to be the next president and fix this our country that is sinking every day. Number two, you are going to be a very good representation of your father. I'm going to name you Mike so that you can stand out. From now on, anything you want, tell me. I'll do for you. You want me to take you out once in a while. You chop on Kobe and Isiu, you know, so that breeze can blow you. I'll do for you. Do you understand? Eh? I'll be very nice to you. And so now that we have talked about my baby boy, what did the doctor say about the health of the mother? Eh? She's fine. She sends her regards. She will be so happy to see you. Hello. Yes. What are you doing? Right. Hello, sir. Stop. What are you doing in my house? Did I not make it very clear that I do not want to see you or that witch you call your mother in this house? Mike, so you've not changed. You are still the same old Mike that I knew. Look at you. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Woman bitter. Do you think I'm afraid of you? I'm not tell ma that you beat anyhow you like. Look at you. Like father, like son. Let me leave this your stupid house. It's me, your father. What is wrong with you? How can you call your sister and your mother a witch in front of your sister? Do you need to chase everybody out of your life before you realize that you're living a miserable life? Why would you even do that? You're so insensitive. You don't shut up. Shut up! Shut up! Is any kind of insult you bring on me? Eh? What? I, 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 I lay my rules on the ground in my house and then you come coming. Who the fuck do you think you are?
We tried our best. Yes. So? Don't panic. She's fine. We saved her life. But there's a bad news. She lost the baby. She did what? She lost the baby. The baby just couldn't survive it. The beating was so severe. I'm sorry. That's severe. She lost the baby. Do you now see why I hate Mike? Have you seen the reason for, for the so much hatred? Hey, calm down. Mike is a beast. Mike is a beast. Madam, calm down. It's an hospital. We have patients here. Right? Calm down. Of course. Calm down. Of course. I will calm down. I will calm down and let my sister suffer. I will calm down. I understand your pain. I do. Can we see her now, please? Of course, sure. Why don't you listen? Look at what Mike has turned you into. I don't feel good about this whole thing. What are you doing here? Look, I... I'm sorry. Okay, I am sorry about what happened. I'm really, really sorry. You are not only sorry. It is the devil's work, isn't it? Listen, let me tell you. If you don't leave here in the next five minutes, I will personally deal with you and then call the police to lock you up. What rubbish, darling? Get out of this place. You don't want to leave? No, you don't want to leave. Tell me you don't want to leave. Rubbish. Beast. Look at what you've turned my sister into. You come here saying you're sorry. So, Ma, I was on my way to the store when I received a call. And when I look at my phone, it was Thelma. And I pick it up only to have the daughter voice. And she was crying. I told my taxi to turn back to her house. And when we got there, I saw Thelma on the couch. <laughs> she was unconscious. <laughs> I, I tried lifting her up, but I couldn't. I, I had to scream for the taxi driver to help me so we can rush her to the hospital. Get into the hospital. The doctor on some days, but he find out she was okay. But she lost. A pregnancy. What? She did what? She lost the pregnancy. So Mike had the guts to beat Thelma to the point of her losing her pregnancy. Mom, there is something wrong with Mike. He needs deliverance. Absolutely. Nice. You see the reason I asked you to bring Thelma here? If you brought her to me, this wouldn't have happened. So Mike is becoming a monster. He is molesting and battering the same woman he vowed to love all of his life. I mean, 
think this is unbelievable. Why is he doing this? Oh, domestic violence. This is so sad. Tell Talma she should come see me. This is very, very serious. Nancy, if you do not get Talma here, you may blame yourself. Eh? You went too far. You didn't have to go to that extent. You know she's heavy. See, all you need to do is to touch her on the right. Then, okay. On the left. On the right again. If possible, just give her a knock on her head now. Eh? This thing is not good. Um, Mike. Honestly, I would say you owe Telma a very big apology. Yes, you do. Look, guys. I'm sorry, okay, but I don't know. I, I didn't intend to take it that far. You know, I, this thing's just happened unconsciously. You know, I think all of this is born out of the hatred I have for women. I, guys, don't look at me like that now. I saw my mother kill my father. I, I, I was standing right there, and then the woman knocks the man out. I saw it. And, and sometimes it just, you know, huh. I'm so sorry about that, but. What you do to your wife is very terrible. Very terrible. Uh -uh. Where is she now? She's still in the hospital, but um, you know her sister won't even let me get close. So I don't know what to do. I thought to be her sister, there was no way I was going to let you see her after all you did to her. That wasn't nice at all. It's not her fault. No, it's not like this. It's not like this. Yeah, you don't know what you're trying now. You don't know the. Uh -uh. Are you trying? We don't say you be Jackie Shaw, but at least more. Oh, ah, she's heavy now. Don't try. Hi. Don't try. Tell me, remember what the doctor said? You need to eat something. So I'm going to the kitchen now to prepare you something light so that you can take your drops, okay? You have to be. Excuse me, Tom. Sorry, I know I haven't done right by you. I know I haven't been a great husband. I know I shouldn't have laid my hands on you, but I am sorry. I miss you terribly. Please come back home. Look, darling, I give you my word that I would never raise my hand on you again. I am so sorry. I don't know why I do the things that I do sometimes. Please, I miss you. Our home is empty without you. Our home is no longer a home without you. It's now a house. How are you, son? Then I made it very clear that I do not want to see you in my office again. Yes, I know that you do not want to see me around here. But we need to talk. Talk about what? Huh? Talk, talk about what? Michael? I am aware of every damn thing you have done to your wife. It is totally insane and unacceptable. Why do you choose to follow the path of your father? Don't you talk about my father. But after what you did to him, don't you dare I talk about my dad. Do anything to your father. Michael, the heartbeat of every woman 
is to be married to that man that will protect her. Your wife has gone through so much already. Please stop it, it's not fair. Don't tread your father's path. I have work to do. Please, use the door. You have work to do? Michael, I will leave. But before I leave, I have an advice for you. The sooner you change, the better for you, your wife, and your kids. Have a good day. Excuse me. What happened to the love that we share? What happened to the man I knew? There were times our love was perfect. There were times you cared for me. Now our lives yeah, are Ah, uh, guys, <laughs> thanks for showing up, man. I really appreciate it, sweetheart. Um, you see, my friends here heard what happened. And, you know, they insisted that they would like to come see you and, you know, say a few words. And I said, okay, it's fine. I mean, I know you to be very receptive, but I allow them to come. Guys, so, yeah, <laughs> the floor is yours. Thelma, we are apologizing on behalf of a friend. Truly, he's indeed sorry over what he did to you. But we promise that such will never happen again. Yes, it won't happen again. It's fine. I, I have forgiven him. I do not bear any grudge whatsoever against him, so... Just like that. Well, well, night. Thank you, darling. Hmm? It's, it's okay. Thank you, sir. And you, uh, Mike, ensure you don't do this again, because me, I won't come back again to plead on your behalf. I will not come. We won't. <laughs> um, so... This cause for celebration. Definitely yeah. cause for celebration. Of course, I know your brand. I know what you guys do. What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> so, it's it's my shift. Why don't you rest? Okay, I'll I'll do the one this time around. Okay, just relax. I said that on my one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, can you imagine? I just finished speaking with Nancy now. After all Mike did to Thelma, she still had the guts to go back to him. Oh, God. What has gotten into my daughter's head? I just can't believe this. How can Thelma go back to that house? Mom, I don't care. But I know that Mike is a beast. He killed the child in her womb, Mom. He does not have a heart. Thelma doesn't belong there. No. Mom, I'm done. I am so done talking to her. Oh, God. My darling, my life is exactly where I want it to be right now. My husband is suddenly so sweet. He's the sweetest man on earth, I can say. Oh, baby, what do you want? Oh, no, don't worry, don't worry, I'll do it. Oh, don't, no, don't move. I'll make, I'll make breakfast, I'll make dinner, sit down, calm down, lie down, don't worry, don't stress yourself. I'm telling you, the kind of peace I've had these few days, I pray it continues like this. I am so happy. Wow. <laughs> you know, girlfriend, I am really happy for you. Thank you. I'm happy to see my best friend happy. It makes me too happy. So I am happy. But please. You have to go and see his mother. I know. It's just that the kind of happiness I'm experiencing at home right now, I don't want anything to spoil it. And I don't want to be the one that will spoil it. You know, I'm just a bit skeptical. But I, I will. I know. But it's taking too long. That woman has a reason she wants to see you. Okay. I will go and see her. 
if you say so. But anyway, I'm just happy. I'm yes. just happy. Like, I am super happy. Dama! 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 What happens to the book I, I, I kept on the shelf? What, what do you mean book? No, condom. What happens to the book I kept on, I kept on the shelf? Did you check properly? Did I check properly? Yes. Oh, you're suggesting that I'm blind, right? Oh no, you're saying that I am blind. Dama, I keep stuff in my house, and then you make me sweat to find it. What well, you like the way I'm sweating right now? Looking for stuff that that I get. What well, you like the way I'm sweating right now? You didn't touch it. I keep stuff in my house, and then you make my life. Miserable trying to get my own stuff, right? Huh? My, Did you my, touch it or not? Did you touch it or not? We want to flip you over. Oh we want to flip you over. I can drop you up here. If you touch my stuff next time, I will flip you over. You get me? I keep stuck in this house and you touch it. Trust me, you will hit the floor. Like I've always told you, I will put you in a coffin. No, no. See, this thing is not funny now. Eh? You, you, see, you, see, you see what a bad luck brought me. Eh? My team lo lost today. For, for no reason. See, if I catch that woman, if I can, I just want him. My phone, phone, phone. Oh! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Like, you mean you want to go home now and give her uh, uh, Jackie Chan or upper, upper court, you call it like boom, boom, boom. You don't go try him. <laughs> Why are you laughing? What's going on? Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? My topic is the secrets of domestic violence. And the question I'm going to tackle is the one question everyone always asks. Why does she stay? Why would anyone stay with a man who beats her? I'm here to tell you the story of crazy love, a psychological trap disguised as love, one that millions of women and even a few men fall into every year. It may even be your story. So my first message for you is that domestic violence happens to everyone. All races, all religions, all income and education levels. It's everywhere. My secret was that I had this gun loaded with hollow point bullets pointed at my head by the man who I thought was my soulmate many, many times. Why did I stay? The answer is easy. I didn't know he was abusing me. I never once thought of myself as a battered wife. Instead, I was a very strong woman in love with a deeply troubled man. The other question everybody asks is, why doesn't she just leave? Why didn't I walk out? I could have left any time. To me, this is the saddest and most painful question that people ask. Because we victims know something you usually don't. It's incredibly dangerous to leave an abuser. Because the final step in the domestic violence pattern is kill her. Over 70% of domestic violence murders happen after the victim has ended the relationship, after she's gotten out, because then the abuser has nothing left to lose. And it's so nice to have you here. Thank you. How is school? School is fine. Okay. Hey, how is Bada and the kids? He's fine, and they are fine. I know. 
on behalf of my husband, I apologize for all the altercations you guys had the other day. I am so sorry. I'm sure he was in a bad mood. It's okay. I've forgotten about all that. I know my brother. He just hates women. That brings me to why I'm here. Mama says she wants to see you. And she has something important to discuss with you. Okay. She has been sending Nancy to Yes, you. yes, yes. Nancy told me everything. Actually, I was only looking for the perfect time to be able to come see her. And I, I thought about coming tomorrow. So it's even good you're here. Just tell her that I will see her tomorrow. Okay. She just asked me to invite you over. It's not a problem. I will be there tomorrow. All right. Mm. I have, I have lectures. I have to run along. So Talma, immediately I hit his head with a pistol. I noticed he was dead. Out of fear, I started shouting and screaming and my neighbors came out. They took us to the hospital. <laughs> when we got there, Doctors certified my husband dead. The police were called in. And the case was charged to court. I was given a 10 year jail term. All the while I was in prison, Michael and his younger sister and now were living with my relatives. Today, Michael thinks that I killed his father. But the truth is that I did that in self-defense. If I didn't do that, he would have killed me that day. Wow. So that is it. Yes, that's exactly what happened. Tama, please, I do not want to lose my son. My son needs help. He has to either see a psychiatrist or a psychologist. I do not want him to kill you. I don't want Michael to kill you or kill him. Tama, where were you last night? Um, Do you realize what time you got to this house yesterday night? Where were you? Mike, I went to see Mama. You went where? Tama, why do you like trying me? No, you enjoy it when you try me. Why do you like trying me? Have I not told you before not to mention the name of that witch in my house again? Mike, you cannot call your mother a witch. Eh? She loves you so much. You, you don't say that about people. Like you need, you, you, you have a problem. Oh. Yes, because it's wrong. How can you sit somewhere and you call your mother a witch? You need help. I need help? Yes. Tell my me. 
Me, I need help. Eh? I'll... Does he want to kill you? <sighs> Look, girlfriend, you are not going back to that house. Sister, I remember when you were dating Mike. He used to slap you. I told you to put an end to the relationship. But no, you would not. Now, look what he's turned you into. A punching bag. Sister, there's no way you're going back to the house. I've heard both of you. Truth is, I had a covenant with God. Marriage is for better or worse. I'm sorry to disappoint you. I am going back to my husband's house. Daddy, I want to speak with you. Okay. Why did I beat him, mommy?
Doctor, how is he? I'm, I'm sorry. The last thing. We tried our best. I'm really sorry. The police was here. I suggest you go to juvenile department and see the police. They might need your attention. I'm really sorry for your loss. I personally tried my best. Thank you. Madam, we are really sorry, but your daughter has remained here with us for six months. And during this period, the state will take full responsibility in correcting her. You may ask your barrister. Counsel, am I correct? Officer! Sir. Take her. She's just a child. She did not mean it. Okay, let me just stay with her. Let me just stay with her. I beg you, please. You would not do this. Take her. I beg you, please. I beg you, please. I beg you, please. Please, please. Let me not get me her. I beg you, please. Let me not get me her. I beg you, please. Let me not get me her. I beg you, please. Let me not get me her. I beg you, please. Let me not get me her. I beg you, please. Thelma, for how long are you going to continue like this? How long will you keep crying? Look, you should thank God that the monster you call a husband is gone and gone for good. Concern yourself more on how you're going to raise your two lovely children. Look, Thelma, you saw the signs. I told you, but you would not listen. When a man hits you once, the monster in him will make you hit you again and again and again. Now look at yourself. You said you were following your heartbeat. Thelma, even when you saw the signs, you kept making excuses for him. Oh, maybe if I pray, he will change. Maybe if I go to church, maybe I'll talk to him. You cannot change a monster. You cannot. As young as you are. Ah. Look, Thelma, you should concern yourself more on how you're going to take care of your two lovely kids. Not crying over a monster. I'm sure this is going to serve as a lesson to you and to every woman out there who thinks they can change a man from the monster that he is. You were just too hasty in concluding that Mike was the right guy for you. This is the same mistake every woman makes. I'm sure you already know I'm not going to jump into conclusions on any man. Don't go into marriage listening to your heartbeat. Use your head. <laughs> 